the Video Zone, a place between our world and the video dimension. Waiting to challenge you for control of the Video Zone is one of the game wizards. Is it Murloc, Scorsha, or Mongo? These two teams will compete for the right to enter the Video Zone and face that game wizard's challenge. Who will it be? Find out today on... Nick Arcade wasn't an arcade game, but rather a game show that aired on Nickelodeon in 1992. The game show was a great example of video games being competitive before esports was a thing, and before people realized Drake played Fortnite. Me on my cell phone, day night when you need my love. The game show was hosted by Phil Moore. It featured two teams of two. The goal of the game was to get the most points, and at the end, the team with the most points received the honor of going into the video zone to try and win the grand prize. You'd get points by completing a variety of challenges, like the face-off challenge, which determined who went first on the game show. And I'm about to play the face-off game Brainstorm. Now in this game, you have to protect your cerebral neurons from a deadly nerve impulse. Each time your side is hit, your opponent scores, and the player with the highest score at the end of 30 seconds will get 25 points in control of Mikey, our video adventurer, for the start of round one. Moving Mikey around the board would allow for challenges to pop up for points. There was the Video Repairman Challenge. Video Repairman! All right, now here's what's happening. You sat down, you're gonna watch some of your videos, and then pay out your cable goes vick on you. What I need you to do is watch the video, and the first team that can buzz in and correctly name the artist will get 25 points in control of Mikey. Let's check out the video, Mr. Repairman. Red team. Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey, let's take a look. Is it Mariah? All right, someday, someday of today, you get the 25 points. Ralph's doing a little dance there. We'll Pop quiz challenge. Pop quiz, all right. Hands on your buzzers. The correct answer will get you 25 points and control of Mikey. It's a question about seafood. Here we are. Which of the following is not a type of raw Japanese seafood? Is it A, nagamaki, B, sushi, or C, sashimi? Yes, yellow a, team. A. A is nagamaki. That is exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Nagamaki is cooked. It's a cooked beef dish. All right. Robot vision Robot challenge. Vision. Robot vision. This is another one of our video puzzles. Now, our Nick Arcade satellite has secretly intercepted our alien robot's transmission. Your job is to figure out what kind of structure the robot is looking at. The first thing that can buzz in and tell me what type of structure the robot is looking at will get 50 points and control of the Meister. Ready? Let's check out the robot's vision. Remember, we're trying to figure out what kind of structure the robot is looking at. <laughs> yes, red team. A roller coaster? Let's take a peek. Is it a roller coaster? He thinks it is. And you know what? I think you're right. Yeah. Fast forward challenge. All right, fast forward. This is a video puzzle. Now, check this out. We got our video on pause. I want you to write down how many, how many water balloons you think this person can throw and hit the target in 30 seconds. Is it three? Six or nine? Write down what you think. The correct answer will get you 25 points. They're right and they're discussing. Three, six, or nine. 30 seconds, throwing water balloons. All right, all right, are you ready? All right, let's roll the tape. All right, that's it. The correct answer is six. All right, let's see, Red, uh, yellow team, how many did you protect? Six, all right. Red team, you get the points. Yellow team, I mean. Red team, what did you predict? Six also, they both get points. Flash frame challenge. Flash frame, another one of our video puzzles. Now listen up, we've edited five different movie monsters into a burst of video images. The first team that can buzz in and name three of those five movie monsters will get 25 points and control of Mikey. Hands on your buzzers. Ready? Let's flash them. Okay, does anyone have a guess? Yes, red team. Holy crap. Is that Melissa Joan Hart? 
Freddy Krueger, Robocop, Batman. Batman. Ooh, that's incorrect. Do you have a, <laughs> do you have a guess, Yellow Team? Um, do we get the guess? Um, yes. <clears throat> uh, Freddy Krueger. Uh-huh. Alien. Yeah. Um, uh, I know Chucky. There was Chucky. That's three of them. That's it. Yeah. All right, hey, let's take a look. Let's show and a variety of other challenges that were fun and entertaining. And lastly, the okay, video Freddy challenge. Video challenge. Hey, Yellow Team. They get to play a little bit now. Videos in the ocean with me. All right. You know the scoop here? You're going to add some more points to your score, hopefully, and maintain control of Mikey. Who's going to be playing? Okay. Eric, you hang on to this. Monica, you get to choose from Thunder Force 3, Psychosis, Dino Land, Ghost Pilots when used, so it's out of it, and Super Adventure Island. Which one of those four? Dino Land. Dino Land. Head right over there. Come on over, Eric. Now, here is the deal. You're going to have to beat the Wizards Challenge, and on Dino Land, it is set at 15,000 points in level one. You have to meet or beat that in 30 seconds. Now, you have 50 points. Your opponents have 40. Of your 50, I want you to write down how many points you're willing to wager on Monica beating the Wizards Challenge. You also have three seconds. Write it down now. He's having a good hair day, too. All right, pencils down, please. Don't let us see what it is. All right, turn around, Monica. 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. The arcade games on the show rotated and were sponsored by companies like SNK or Trade West. Some were Nintendo games on the NES, while others were actually real arcade titles. The goal was to control Mikey, the map avatar, and get to the last point on the map before the end of the show. Once a certain time limit passed, the winning team with the most points would be able to go into the video zone. This was where things got really innovative and interesting. Hey, hey Tracy, yo Ralph, go bust the move on Mongo through those doors, do it! All right, now remember, remember, you gotta get the three, the three circuit breakers, gotta get the three books. I'm thinking they're gonna do it, who knows? I feel that all the time, but that's because we have great players. All right, ready, set, go! <laughs> Now, as an eight-year-old kid, you'd think that the players are actually in the game. In the computer. However, this wasn't the case. The show used revolutionary blue screen technology to place players in game environments. The software was all created solely for the game show. And even though the game mechanics were pretty flawed in terms of hit detection, it was still an ambitious idea, especially for 1991, to which the show was originally filmed. The goal of the video zone was to beat three stages and get to the final boss fight for a chance to win fabulous prizes in the 90s. A zoom tech 35 millimeter autofocus camera zooms from wide angle to telephoto or anything in between has auto load flash wind and rewind case tripod and film the show only lasted for two seasons but it was used in reruns for nearly five years it was esports before there were esports and it was actually pretty ahead of its time in an era where video games were still considered to be children's toys i enjoyed the show greatly even though it didn't get as much attention as double dare it's still a decent show with interesting and revolutionary ideas for more videos like this, everything else gaming related, you're already in the right place. You're on shacknews.com. Get you our champs. Hey, come on back and see us next time. We're going to see what's going to happen with the next two people. I love giving stuff away. See you next time on Nick Arcade. Next time on Jack's Arcade Corner. <laughs>